Hello there. After closing out the month of February with some record-breaking warmth for many in Europe, the beginning of March will be back to more of the seasonal average. And it will turn increasingly wet and windy with weather fronts starting to push in from the Atlantic. And this one here, as it moves its way down through France and Germany, will bring some fresh falls of snow as it bumps into the colder air across the Alps. Dry and settled through much of the Mediterranean and certainly a better story across Turkey and Greece, which has been pretty unsettled particularly for the island of Crete. There'll be some lovely sunshine on offer across much of Italy and the south of France, along with Spain and Portugal, and still pleasantly warm here for the 1st of March. But things will change with the arrival of this weather front. Into France, Germany, the Low Countries, the UK, a little bit cooler than it has been, and certainly more cloud around as well. So we'll see those weather fronts starting to bring some wet and windy weather in across the UK, the winds strengthening across northern France as well, and temperatures starting to tumble a little. Still much of the Mediterranean for the start of the weekend looks quite promising. So the city forecast shows more of a cooler, showery regime across London and Paris. Not looking too bad though for Madrid and Rome over the next few days, although potentially not as warm. Into Berlin, we keep those showers going and a cooler feel and it's cooler still for parts of Russia. Hello there. A quieter spell of weather across parts of the northwest of North America. That, I'm sure, will come as welcome news. Parts of northern California saw half a metre of rain falling in 48 hours earlier on this week. So a brief lull in proceedings, a scattering of showers, yes, but things certainly quieter. And that's the story generally through North America. A few showers stretching up through Texas, Mississippi, also into the Carolinas. Uh, but that is bringing slightly milder air with it, and that is going to flood across the eastern seaboard as well. So a good deal of dry weather in the story. Let's take a look at that in a little more detail. There will be some showers perhaps into parts of Washington and Oregon as well and uh, still a little wintry with any elevation but in comparison to what they have had it's better and it'll be a drier story through much of California. That will certainly come as welcome news after that recent torrential rain that they've had. In fact, the next few days shows a good deal of dry weather generally in the forecast. It could be some light patchy rain into San Francisco, but not really amounting to too much. Across the eastern uh, seaboard, well, certainly quieter. We have seen a bit more of a northwesterly wind, but you can see if we look where the rain is down to uh, Nashville, Tennessee, that is going to drive in some southwesterly air and eventually some of that mild air will push its way all the way up into New York. So temperatures should be above freezing over the next couple of days. That will certainly come as welcome news, as you can see, by Saturday. Hello there. Seven days of relentless heavy rain across Colombia has caused some severe localised flooding and is thought to have displaced over 15,000 people. There's still yet more heavy, sharp showers to come over the next few days, some of those merging together for longer spells of rain, not only across Colombia, down into Venezuela and also into parts of southern Brazil. So if we zoom in and look at that in a little more detail, you can see the vibrant colours, the brighter yellows and greens denoting the intensity. These sharper showers merging together for longer spells of rain at times as well. So the showers becoming a little more sporadic as we push down into central and southern areas of Brazil. The fine dry weather is really across Uruguay into northern Argentina and northern Chile. We will pick up a weak weather front down to the south, producing some cloud and some outbreaks of rain. So Rio de Janeiro will keep those showers going until into next week, but it doesn't look particularly pretty for Colombia with more rain to come into Bogota for the next five days. Mexico, fine settled and sunny at the moment. Central America, just a scattering of showers across the east coast. And much of the Caribbean is largely fine and, and uh, fine with any showers fairly isolated. Top temperatures into 30 degrees. So that's the story. Looking forward, the city forecast shows little in the way of change. Plenty of glorious sunshine to be found and those temperatures peaking in the low 30s. Hello there. Detailed forecast for the Middle East coming up shortly. But first of all, let's start off with what's happening in Africa. Satellite picture showing the usual cloud close to the equator. Also some shower cloud across parts of Madagascar. And we could pick up the risk of a few showers again across parts of Johannesburg as well. So that's the story through the next few days. Further north, it's still unseasonably cooler than it can be at this time of year across North Africa. That's because we've seen some pretty unseasonable weather across uh, the eastern Mediterranean as well. 
but it is an improving situation. So Cairo only around 17 degrees perhaps at the end of the week. This is the five-day city forecast. Those showers easing in Johannesburg, no issues with the temperatures here peaking into the low 30s. But further north, it does look as though Khartoum will see those temperatures into the 30s as well. And into Casablanca, we see more glorious sunshine returning from Tuesday onwards. Now let's take a look at the Middle East. It's all about the wind direction over the next few days. There'll be a cooler northwesterly, so the showers have eased through, but the temperatures are struggling a little mid-teens. We'll see some showers into Iran, some of those falling as snow to higher ground as well. And that's going to be the story as we go through Friday and into the start of the weekend. So that stiffening wind could bring some lifted dust and poor visibility. Certainly a fresher feel with a northwesterly source but it's not expected to last. Temperatures are expected to improve as we go on into next week. Hello there. If you've been following the weather forecast for South Asia in recent days, you'll know that the weather threat has been up into the northeast with some severe thunderstorms. That has cleared away now. However, we need to draw your attention to this cloud that's building into the northwest. And that's where the emphasis of the sharp, intense downpours are likely to be over the next couple of days. Moving across Afghanistan into Pakistan and northwestern states of India as well, there'll also be some significant snow to the tops of any higher ground. So further south of that, it's a largely quiet story with just a scattering of showers likely across the east coast. I'll come back to that in just a moment. Let's take a look at uh, Central Asia and you can see that Kazakhstan will stay cloudy um, and rather cold but most of the weather action really moving out of Turkmenistan to Tajikistan into Afghanistan as I say and across into Pakistan where we will see some heavy thundery downpours and some significant snow showers as well. Further south well it's largely fine and dry still the risk of some showers into Sri Lanka and one or two isolated chairs perhaps along that east coast of India but in comparison to what we have seen it's a quiet story. So we still keep the risk of some showers going into Colombo over the next five days, some of those quite heavy and thundery. But the risk of showers across Tashkent, well, that will ease as it does so, though, so too will the temperatures, a cooler feel into next week. Hello there. A detailed forecast for Australia and New Zealand coming up shortly. But first of all, let's take a look at the recent satellite picture across Asia, picking up the shower cloud quite nicely across Indonesia and parts of northern Malaysia. Fine and quiet through Thailand and Vietnam at the moment and temperatures slightly above the average for the time of year. It's an improving weather story, but still quite breezy across Japan with rain easing. Fine for the Korean Peninsula and northern China. Some spring sunshine on offer here. Little rain into central China cloudier conditions as well further south. There's those showers I was talking about, particularly developing during the heat of the day. City forecasts show a good deal of dry weather with some more persistent rain for the second half of the weekend into Osaka, turning showery from Monday onwards. Now, as for Australia, it's all about the heat that's set to build again across Tasmania and Victoria. Uh, it looks likely that we could see temperatures in excess of 40 degrees, so record-breaking heat potentially for the start of March, and that could exist exacerbate the wildfire issues that they've got in that area. So there is some concern. It's not expected to last particularly long, though. As for New Zealand, fine and quiet. But you can see up into the north, this is severe tropical cyclone polar. We'll need to keep an eye on that, slowly tracking in a southerly direction. But over the next few days, the heat will ease in Melbourne. That will certainly come as welcome news by Wednesday.